A trip through the Wyoming County countryside will help you unwind. And what a better way to settle your nerves than a stop at a local winery. Actually, we're changing as we go. We're, we're kind of an experimental vineyard. Gary Tosco is the owner of Nimble Hill Winery located in Manhoopany, and his experiment started about 10 years ago with 54 vines that he admits were planted incorrectly and the wrong type of vines for the area. Now he's taking advantage of the rich soil in northeastern PA. A good growing area here is for aromatic whites, your Rieslings, your Gruner Vetliners, stuff that is grown in Austria, Germany. He's grown the business from a small operation out of his garage to roughly 15,000 vines between two vineyards. Within the last few years, they've even added an acre of hops, adding a brewery that produces 12 different types of beer to the business. But the priority definitely lies with the six plus acres of grapes. Behind every successful winery is a great winemaker. That's where Kevin Durland comes in. After retiring from Procter & Gamble, his love of wine took him back to school and set him up for a successful second career. I was home one weekend and Gary called and said, hey Kevin, I'm growing grapes and want to make wine, but I'm not really keen on the winemaking process. Would you help me? So that's, that was 2006 and here we are. Kevin truly is a wine connoisseur, suggesting several different meals that could be paired with the different bottles. But he also offered this advice for any wine lover. Here's what I say about wine drinking. Almost all wine makes food taste better and vice versa. So you should drink what you like with whatever you want. We had a great time hunting rattlesnakes and Noxon and a, a sweeter taste of life here at Nimble Hill Winery and Brewery. Wyoming, thank you for letting us come to your county.